Now, police have again raided the Western Sydney home of the man accused of supplying the gun to a teenage terrorist who killed police employee Curtis Chang. Reporter Rachel Puppetzoni joins me now from outside the Maryland's home. Rachel, so what's been happening there this morning? Good morning, Joe. We're on Lockwood Street here in Marylands, as you mentioned. And police have been at this property behind me since about 6 o'clock this morning. They've also raided another property a, a few streets away about the same time. Now, police say that they are raiding these two properties using the powers uh, of the firearm prohibition orders. What that means is when they apply a, a firearm prohibition on someone, they can raid their property any time they want to check that they don't have any guns. Now, police, as I said, have been here for a number of hours this morning and we just saw a few moments ago police come outside the property and look through. You can probably see a couple of cars behind me, a black four-wheel drive. There's a ute in the driveway. Police have been going through them, pulling uh, bits of the car out from inside the car, uh, looking underneath the car uh, as they continue their investigations here at Lockwood Street in Marylands. Yes, yeah, so talk us through what happened there when you were there last time and uh, in, the, in the weeks following that. Joe, I was here uh, in October and that was uh, when police raided this property and uh, a couple of others uh, around uh, Sydney's west. And this was in response to the fatal shooting of police worker Curtis Cheng outside the Parramatta Police Headquarters at the start of October. And our uh, viewers will most likely recall that he was shot outside the police station by 15-year-old Farhad Jabbar. Police allege that uh, the man that resides at this house, uh, Talal Alamadine, uh, issued or supplied the firearm that was used in that fatal shooting. Now, in the searches that they conducted in October here, they arrested two men. That They were later released, though, without charge. Police then, a few days later, arrested and charged Alamadine with supplying a firearm. They allege that he uh, gave a gun to Rabin Alu, who police uh, allege then gave that firearm to Farhad Jabbar and uh, shot Curtis Cheng. And has there been any word on police whether they're going to hold a media conference there this morning? Police uh, have told us that they will address the media most likely uh, a little later this morning to give us an update on what they're doing here. Uh, and that's probably going to happen at the Parramatta Police Headquarters. And uh, it's worth mentioning that Talal Alamadine, the man who resides at this house, who faces those firearms charges, is expected to front court in about a week's time. OK, Rachel Puppetzoni reporting there from Western Sydney.